Gordon Klingenschmidt is, of course, an anti-gay fundamentalist and a self-described exorcist, because we all know that's totally a real thing. Uh, somehow he has a TV show, nobody really knows how, one day out of the blue he just had one. Uh, but he sent out an email to his eight listeners uh, with what might be the most bogus claim against a senator in U.S. history. And I'm not kidding about that, so let me read you parts of it here. Mentally prepare yourself for the floodgates of lunacy to open. He says, quote, Stop Senator Al Franken from homosexualizing public school classrooms. What? <laughs> we are one sentence in, and I'm already, I, he already lost me. He's already, whatever he's talking about is bullshit. He says, sign the petition to filibuster Franken's No Child Left Unmolested Amendment. Yes, I'm sure that's what Al Franken, uh, that's the name of the law Al Franken's in favor of. Russia never banned gays. Where's it, where are you bringing up Russia from? Russia never banned gays, just child recruiting by pedophiles. Contrary to nearly all reports by the American lamestream media, which falsely claim Russia has strict laws banning homosexuality, the opposite is true. Russia has never passed a law banning homosexuality. Russia did pass a law by a 436 to 0 vote forbidding adults from recruiting children into sexual deviancy. Wouldn't you vote for that? So let me stop there for a second, because he's wrong. No, uh, here's what Russia did. They passed what's called an anti-gay propaganda law, which makes it so that you can't propagandize in favor of homosexuality, which means any opinions that you have that are pro-gay, if you voice them, you're subject to arrest. My radio show could not exist in Russia. I could be thrown in jail. Anybody who says anything, utters anything pro-gay, you could be thrown in jail. Okay? That's the reality of it. It's got nothing to do with protecting kids. Okay, that's what they that's the, what their talking points are, how they lie about it. But the reality is they're just repressing gay people all across the country and even just the support of gay people. Now, here's the part that's even worse. I know you're thinking how could it get get worse? He says, "Senator Al Franken wants to require pedophilia in all public schools in the form of mandatory pro-gay lectures to all public school children." He wants to mandate pedophilia. He wants to require pedophilia. Does that even deserve a response? We all know that's not true. I don't, do I even need to do this segment? I could, I could just stop now, right? I could just stop now because we we know that that's not correct. Like it, pedophilia is already against the law, and any no U.S. senator cannot just propose. Yeah, we're going to bring back pedophilia and mandate it. It's mandated in the schools now. Uh, he's still not done. Do you want Al Franken? Legislating pedophiles to recruit your kids? Let's petition all 535 congressmen and senators to stop Franken's child abuse. Now, here's what Al Franken is really doing. He wants to pass a law that's basically uh, an anti-bullying anti campaign uh, for gay kids, to stop the bullying against gay kids and bisexual kids. And the way you do that is through, you know, you get together in the auditorium and you have events where you talk about it. And you say, look, there's no difference. Just because somebody likes somebody with the same gen of the same gender, it's irrelevant. They're still human beings just like you and me. They're not, they're not different. It's just, it is what it is, man. And it's time to be accepting of them. That's what he's in favor of. Klinkenschmidt spun that to say, oh, yeah, he's, in fa he's advocating mandatory pedophilia. Man, these guys are loathsome, and these guys are liars, and these guys are pathetic.